is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Well, I closed in a couple deals in California in the last couple of months. My experience has been that the one was a cash deal, and that was good. It was easy. I didn't have to get a loan, so it went well. A lot of disclosures these days and a lot of investigations, but into that house, checking everything out, which is all right. It was good. Um, and there was multi-contracts multi going on out there, by the way, especially in the lower end, multi-contracts. Um, the market's moving now. It's moving, um, at least in California it is, Central Coast. Um, which is good news. Um, and then the other contract it took over a year to close on, and it was a reverse mortgage short sale. The buyer was getting a loan. The seller um, was the mother, and the, um, the seller was the deceased father that the mother signed for because she was the, the trustee, and the buyer was the daughter. And it's okay to not have a arm's length transaction, meaning that you're not related. Um, it's okay not to have that. It's okay that, that it was a, you know, a, a relative that actually bought that short sale because it was a reverse mortgage. So that was interesting. It took a quite, what, quite a while to get through. Um, the original loan was a World Savings um, reverse mortgage, which World Savings is out of business. And B of A took it on, and actually B of A did a good job. They responded quickly, um, as, as, as it could be, I guess. And, and how it all panned out, it worked out pretty good. So for the buyer and the seller, and then the bank. So the bank doesn't have a property and one more property in the inventory that, that just costs us taxpayers money. So it all worked out well. It was win-win-win for everybody. It was a little difficult, though. I can say it was truly probably the most difficult deal I have done in my 28 years. Not to mention the longest deal that it took to actually close on. From meeting the buyers to actually closing on the deal, writing the contract and closing on the deal is just, yeah. Even the high-end commercial deals that I've done, it's longer than that and more complicated, believe it or not. So the world's the turning. Um, all short sales aren't like that. I guess they do have their timelines and they do get the job done quicker. But it really wasn't B of A's fault, it's just the way it all happened. It's how a whole series of events happened. So it all worked out all right. Actually, with the buyer getting the loan, that was difficult. Um, she was putting 20% down. She did have really good credit. Um, but it was it was just difficult, which amazed me. So, so um, is it difficult to get a, pro a loan on, on that particular deal? I think so. On other deals... Probably not. Um, your lender will walk you through. Uh, you just have to, you know, verify, disclose, verify, disclose, verify, disclose who you are, and you'll get the loan and have the money, of course, and have good credit and a steady job. Those three things. <laughs> so I highly recommend buying a home. It does stabilize you in your mind, right, at least, and you know you're not throwing money at the the, the mortgage that you're paying someone else's mortgage. Um, it gives you stability in the sense that you do have a forced savings. And then you're not going to have to move because the rent went up. Or you can paint your room purple is, is also a nice thing. So owning your home is the way to go. And um, thanks for watching Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. And have a wonderful, beautiful day. Ciao, ciao.